Help guys, Burnt Out Culture's back. Sorry for the uh, rather long delay. Life got in the way, as usual. Um, taking time away from making vids, what can you say, what can I say? Um, we've got bits and pieces of everything. As the title suggests, there's some toys in here. Apologies to all those that tune in just to see uh, you know what video game related pickups I've got there is some toys um, I'll show them at the end um, so you can you know tune out at that point if, if, if it's not your bag but it's um, it's another thing I'm, I'm massively into and it's looking like I'm, I'm, I'm get, gonna get back into collecting as well um, but we'll go through all the all the gaming related stuff um, we've got bits and pieces from uh, Donny, didn't get that much from Donny really a uh, couple of bits from eBay uh, CEX, cash converters and my good buddy Big Mike I'll show and also got a new um, gaming cable uh, so we've got we've got a few uh, few good stuff to, sh to go through um, First and foremost, so I'll just like to say I'm I'm using the new camera. Uh, another big massive thanks to everyone that contributed towards it. It, it really was a you know a, a fantastic thing that you did. Um, you all knew who you are. Um, it really did you know help me out. Did that, guys? Um, I'm not really into making vids on my phone, so. I, um, I don't know what the lighting's like, Dana, if it's dark, it's a dingy room, I'm sorry, it's bloody greyed over today, it's gone pretty miserable now, looks like it's going to piss it down, but I've got the light on, I don't know, I, I, I haven't even really tested this camera really, so if it's if it's dark, apologies, I'm really sorry, but the biggest shout out of all, out of all the people, obviously again, just to uh, Stuart and Dana, fucking legends, thanks guys. Um, right, uh, I've got a pint today as well, I need a fucking throat dry as fuck, sorry. We'll get the, uh, what should we do? I won't do them in, I'll just do them as a, as a grab on it. I won't do them in any particular order really. Uh, I've got some specky, a uh, couple of specky games first off, um, off eBay. Um, Dirt cheap, we're talking a couple of quid here. Um, fighter pilot. Uh, this good little game is this, this little um, flight sim. Uh, it's a cracking little game, is this? There was a sequel to it a little bit better. I can't remember, can't remember what it's called, but again, what I try to do, I don't know if I've said it before, I always try to pick up games that I remember having um, way back when. And that was one of them. Another one that I got, again, a couple of quid. In the clamshell, the uh, Konami Majin labelled uh, ping pong. Uh, beautiful condition. This sadly missing the little, the little instruction booklet there. But um, like I say, fantastic condition that. Na good, bloody addictive little game is that. Really addictive. Um, love playing that. So I remembered, remembered that from uh, from back in the day. So like I say, a couple of quid. Another game I remember playing, uh, jumping onto PS1, and I didn't realise it's so it's uh, Soviet Strike. This is in fantastic condition as well. Uh, boxes, in a mark on it. I mean, wedge of a manual. Uh, really, I mean, look at that manual. It's in that little nick there, but I mean, there's barely any marks on the box whatsoever. Not the slightest hint of a crack anywhere. And we all know how how easy these can get. If anyone's played this, obviously it's you know it's based on Desert Strike, sort of like um, a bit further on down the line. Uh, they've had little sort of cutscenes into in that. It wasn't until I started playing it that I remembered it straight away. I thought, oh bloody hell yeah! Uh, and if I remember right, I got quite far on it. It gets really really hard as you go on, but it's a cracking game. I think, like I say, if you, it's only a fiver. And it, like I said, if you like like Desert Strike and all that, Jungle Strike, it's, it's spot on, it's really good, really good little game is that. 
Uh, right, this one I got from Cash Convert, so I went in, don't usually go in, I find it a bit of a fucking sleaze, sleazy shit all really, it's certainly the one where near me, um, I don't really like going in to be honest, but went in, I had about 10 minutes to spare, I went in to pick me one up, and they actually had quite a bit of retro, um, I got three games, one's turned out to be like a silly idiot, but idiot brain, I didn't look at it properly, it were, um, I won't show it, it's we're basically um, Genesis labelled Gunstar Heroes, I thought it looked okay at the time, um, it looked a genuine case, I should have opened it up. Uh, Subsequently, when I've got home, I've checked online, I've checked the pictures, the, the label didn't quite match, I thought, oh shit. Anyway, when I've opened it up, it had like, um, it, wanted, you know, it were a non-genuine, fucking spurious little board in there, like fake. Uh, that cost me a tenner, so a bit bit pissed off about that. Uh, couldn't even be arsed taking it back in there, I should have probably took it back, but I couldn't be arsed. Um, I got Golden Axe 2. For a tenner, that's in good condition with the manual. Um, what I did, I swapped out the the actual box and manual were better than mine, so that it's gone into mine into my one now. So that's a sweet little copy now that I've got. Uh, like I say, the manual were miles better than mine. My manual were a little bit knackered, so I swapped that out. I'll probably just move that on now than the one I got from there. And then the other game I got was. This is also in quite good original Mortal Kombat. I think this was eight quid. So it was a good, you know, a good little pick up that for eight quid. Um, decent condition. Um, I've got Ultimate Mortal Kombat somewhere as well. I haven't got Mortal Kombat 2 yet. But um, yeah, I thought for eight quid, decent. Um, so I mean, all things considered, it, you know, it is, probably is worth going in. Um, like I, said, I think I once went in about a year ago and, and they had they had naff all and like I said staff generally a bit sleazy in there I find so I just haven't bothered going in lately but I probably will start calling in now um, I did um, a CEX case swap um, so I ordered this Robocop 3 uh, I don't know if you remember me showing mine, it were the label, sorry, the cover, the front cover had a big sort of piece missing out of it and also on the side or the back, I can't remember which. So I ordered this on uh, <laughs> on CEX and did a little sneaky swap. Um, doesn't have the manual, unfortunately. Um, I don't think it was in stock as mint anyway, so I ordered it boxed. The, the actual cart itself were more or less in the same condition as mine so I think I just kept my cart but it was for the you know it's worked out in my favour and it, you know the cover the cover in the box on this absolutely fine no hanging tab but that doesn't matter you know what I mean um, but that was a good little swap um, what should we go to next should we get the Donny stuff out well that's it they weren't much at Donny had a really good day met Pete Fighter 2 uh, Nath Retro, first time I've actually met them two in person, had a really good day with Gareth, Absolute, obviously you'll say not vids, but blisteringly red hot day, um, did okay in terms of sales, uh, sold the PC engine, um, didn't manage to sell the Retron 5 or um, the, the, the um, what else were we selling at the right end? I forget. So, like a lot of people said, we managed to get rid of a load of the, the sort of cheap budget stuff. People, they were flying off at stall. Like, you know, I noticed loads of people were saying the same thing. All all the lower end stuff just shot, shot off. Um, like I say, a lot of people go to these events and don't have hundreds and hundreds of pounds to spend. So, you know, they, they want to fill up the little shopping bags, don't they, with bargains and, you know, get as much as they can and then, you know, they feel like they've had a good day. Uh, and done half decent. A lot of people go, I don't know, they'll probably go like fifty hundred quid. Um so in hindsight, you know, to expect to sell these big 
you know, big sort of priced items. You're gonna, you know, you've got to probably sit on them for a while, go to various events before they'll go. And very niche, like a few people said, a lot of these items are quite niche. You've got to find the person that's actually specifically looking for that. Um, whereas your, your general populace is looking for stuff like, you know, like original Xbox and PS2 games. Um, but nevertheless, it was a really, really enjoyable day. Uh, like I say, I met, got to meet a few people. Um, so thank, big thanks to Gareth and Lucy. Had a had a cracking day. Uh, thanks to um, Eddie and Dylan as well. Um, caught up with them too. Cracking lads. Uh, shoved a bit, a few items on there. So I think they, so they did it all right. I think they managed to sell a couple of bits on there. So that that were good. Um, right. So just got two Mega Drive games. Dirt cheapers really. Nothing special. One game actually I won't. I've been looking at for a while, and it's uh, Home Alone. Um, complete with one of them style. Uh, manuals, upright booklet type, in pretty decent condition. Um, I think, I haven't actually played this on Mega Drive, but I've played it on Summer and I can't remember what it is. Might be SNES years ago, if it is on the SNES. Definitely on Summer, don't think it's Mega Drive. Um, fairly sure it isn't Mega Drive. Apparently it's supposed to be a pretty decent game though. Um, I guess that just spoils it a little bit, I don't know if I'll be able to get that bugger off on spine. Part of pack only. Yeah, I might struggle with that. I've got one up here now. What, what was that other one that I was struggling with? This one. That struggling to get that off. That price tag on there. Might have to have a bash at it though, but that's that aside. Absolutely fine. Um how much for it? Can't remember. Not much. Fiver, six quid, tops, wouldn't have been a lot. This one was three quid. I mean, you can't, you can't get better than this, can you? Winter Olympics. Three quid complete. Definitely won't be even get that on eBay for three quid delivered, no chance. It'll be like a fiver, you know, minimum five, six quid. Excellent condition. Alright, I know it's a low end one but it's it's you know it's for three quid. Could have I could have gone mental. There were loads of really cheap games but I'd I'd said to various people I'd gone on the day to to purely sell, to raise cash. I I, I was trying to sort of walk around with blinkers on. I didn't want to start like start shelling out here and then I could have gone fucking mental. They had some cracking stuff on sale. Um another thing I couldn't resist Dip, me and Andelds, we, we've got a, a love hate relationship over the years. The only thing I've got at the moment, as I've shown before, is that Lynx. Um, again, because it were the, you know, some of that I had, the actual original model back in the day. Um, but the amount of Game Boys I've had over the years, but I, I just saw this and I had to get it. Beautiful condition. It had loads for sale. I think is it the Pikachu? Is it it's the Pokemon or Pikachu limited edition one? Um, beautiful condition. A couple of light marks on the screen, but apart from that, but what I will say, I haven't even tested it. <laughs> I haven't even fucking switched it on. But I know it'll work. I know it'll work. Uh, battery compartment minty fresh. No sign of corro battery leakage, corrosion anywhere on it whatsoever. Um, so that's that's all good. What did he do it for me now? What 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 did he do this for me? It were in the first hour of a setting up. They weren't even so even early birders aren't even coming at that point. And I went round and I saw that he did PayPal. And you're like, oh, I said, can you do us a bag? Yeah, like, there's a bit of a reduction on this. And you're like, oh, bloody hell, it's uh, we'll just set up. This is, uh, I can't remember what he had it up for. I think it were up for 40. And I got him down with 35, or it was 35 down to 40. I can't remember which way around it is. Thinking about it, I think it'll have been 40 down to 35. Not to, got a fiver off, whatever it was. And then when I said, oh, will you do it on paper? Oh, bloody hell. So I pissed him off a bit, a little bit. But anyway, he did it in the end up. 
Uh, I think I thought I wonder if I bought one of them other games off him. Maybe I got oh yeah, I think I got Home Alone off him as well. So this is Home Alone and all I know is he, he knocked a fiver came off this. But I need to test it though. I think it'd be alright. The only thing I should have just checked it for is a pick me up. Any dead pixels, I suppose, but will I play it? <clears throat> will I play it? I'll probably play Tetris. I've got Tetris somewhere. That's about the only fucking game I end up playing on a Game Boy. But I'm going to keep it because it's a nice little limited edition, this, and it'll just sit in that, sit in there with, um, with that Blinks. This, I was selling it. You know what? I was really surprised they didn't sell this. Absolutely surprised, and it was. This 48k spec here, we're gonna, and I'm glad it ain't gone. I'm absolutely glad it ain't gone. I must have been out of my fucking treat to sell this. Because at the end of the day, this thing is probably one of the most nostalgic things I've got. You know, this is where it all started pretty much after Echo and Electron. Um, but yeah, you know, I had, the, I had the little power pack for it and all the leads, um, and it just loads of people were picking it up and playing with it oh, yeah. but never went I had it at a good price as well um, apparently it's got a good a guy told me it's a good serial code is that DO113701 um, but it didn't go and, and I'm glad it didn't I'm, I'm genuinely glad it did and I, I will not I'm, I need to keep it I need to keep stuff like this that you know that's dear to me heart um, so yeah, the only other thing that um, I bought at, at Donny was uh, got chatting to this guy. So this was at the literally at the opposite end, far corner as you, as, as you sort of the traders where you came in. Um, got chatting to this bloke, really really nice guy. I've seen him before. Really chatty guy, knows his stuff. Massive sort of corner stall, and it it was like encroaching right into the floor space. And he were telling me like, oh, this is I've been told I need to, I need to watch it with how much floor space I'm taking up, and this that and the other. And he was selling these, so they're like, oh, like vinyl marquees, can we call them? I suppose banners. Originally they were marked up at. I think a fiver each, and I I said, will you do? What was the deal? So it's worked out at three. It worked out at three quid a piece, but he slipped up when he told me. And he ended up. It should have been four quid a piece. He wanted to let me have them for, but he ended up letting me have them for three quid a piece. So he honoured it, which I thought were really you know a stand up guy of him sort of thing to do that. Um, and I said to him next next event, I'll definitely buy some more of him. Uh, and he says, if I buy another ten, he'll he'll let me have. He'll definitely let me have him at three quid, three quid a piece. Don't know where I'm going to put them, but they're just so cool. So I got obviously had to get the Sega one. Absolutely, it's a weird material. So he was telling me, I says, how how do you work? He had hundreds of them. Absolutely hundreds. He wasn't just selling this. It's it fucking funny as well. Tell he sells apparently he sells anything. He sells anything. This guy, he said, he, he said they even had some fucking binoculars on stall. Fucking <laughs> funny though, but it, it's it's like um, so it's like a vinyl. So you've got this sort of checkered sort of weavy pattern back to it, and then like this smooth side. So he told me he's got a thirty-five gram printer at work. I can't remember if he said it might be his own business. Because uh, I said, can anyone make these? He went, yeah, 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 if, you, if you've got a 35 gram printer that makes them. So I went, oh, right. So apparently he does really well with them. Been selling them for a while. He got into it by accident. Um, I don't, I can't remember the story. Um, another really nostalgic, fantastic game. Paperboy. I mean, look at that, look at the colours. So that's what I mean, this is what I like about them. The, the colours are so vibrant on them as well. Really deep colours on them. Just cut off there, guys. I don't know if it, if that one there or what. Um, but yeah, so lovely little uh, item that. Next one, another Sega game, classic Shinobi. 
absolutely fantastic. Great one that to get. Um, another favourite of mine, probably this and Operation Wolf. Probably my favourite arcade games. Outrun, I mean, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? I don't know where I'm going to put them mine, but I'll find somewhere for them. Uh, and the last one. Tato Classic Double Dragon. I mean, look at that. Look at that. So, yeah, I mean, like I say, these worked out at three quid a piece. And, you know, it's fucking amazing price for that for them. So, well chuffed with that. So, I mean, them few bits that I got there, and, you know, with coupled with what I sold on the day. So, I came away thinking, you know what, I hadn't, I hadn't spent bugger all there. Came, made about pff, just short of 300 quid. Well happy, well happy. Um, right, I'm going to. I've got a few of these. Big Mike's been doing me some fucking belting deals, so I don't know if you know. He's he's trying attempting to thin out his collection, so he says. Someone made a classic comment on one of his vids where he's, he's on about you know scaling it down, and they said, "Oh yeah, 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 good, uh, good method, Mike. Get rid of get rid of one thing, buy six. <laughs> So yeah, but he's bless him. He's doing me some cracking deals on these Mega Drive. So he's, he's on about getting the um, you know the 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 Crix Ever Drive type deals for both the the Mega Drive and the SNES. Uh, he's going to play all his stuff off um, you know backups off off SD card. I think that's the way he wants to go now. Purely to save space. Uh, so it enables him to, you know, free some free some uh, shell space up and get rid of a lot of these, a lot of these titles. Um, and I'm more than happy if he's going to do me these sort of deals on Mega Drive. I will take them all day long. Um, so I've got here three games. I mean, this one, fucking hell. I'm not going. Obviously, I don't tell you what I pay when it's when it's from Michael. It's like a you know a personal deal. It's like I've always said it's it's a bit personal it's between me and him. But trust me when I say fantastic fucking deals. Um, my first Japanese Mega Drive game. Would you believe? Um, yeah, I ain't got any. Used to have a couple. What did I used to have? Can't remember. Years ago. Well, long gone anyway. But I had to get it. Double Dragon 2. Minus the manual, unfortunately, but for what he, for what he let me have it for. I mean, if you know this game, you'll know that it commands chunky value. Put it that way. Have a look for yourself. Certainly complete anyway. Um, it's not... Uh, it's not too common either. But it's a very sought after Japanese Mega Drive game, is this? Um, I think it plays alright. Or is this the one that's shit? Is it Double Dragon 3 that's okay? Need that as well, actually, Double Dragon 3. But really chuffed to have it though, Mike. Thank you very much. I'd, I'd, I'd said to him, I says, if you look back in all his videos, the old, you know, the stuff going back God knows how long, if you look in his racking behind him, you can always see this spine. And I said I'd, I'd I'd clock that for fucking ages, and I, and I thought now it'll be mine. So I mean, at least it's gone to a good home, mate. So don't feel bad, mate. It's freeing up cash. It's freeing up space for you to, you know, move, you know, get other things. Uh, this one, absolute mint Shinobi Three, off him as well. Um, and when I say mint, I mean mint. It's just. Fucking minty fresh, it really is. Again, an absolute cracking deal. Odd title this price wise, um, and a game that's been on my list. On my phone, I think I've got 20 games uh, that's been sat on there, you know, games to get for about a good 18 months, two years, uh, and this were on there. And when I've looked, all the other time, you know, the price does fluctuate, and a bit of a bitch to get for a good price, but you can get it at a good price. But what I will say is, you won't get it at a, the price I've got this for in this condition. 
no way. It, there's a wild, wild fluctuation in what this can go for. On a good day, I don't know, I won't say, but the, it, do, it does, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, but rest assured, it's a fucking spot on deal that night. And the last game, another game on that list, another bitch to get, another meaty title, iron title, um, that I've been after for ages. The mighty Probotector. Blue Spine! Again, as always with Mike. Mint. Ish. <laughs> but yeah, alright, not as mint as Shinobi, but this is pretty bloody good as well. As you know, with this game, also, you're looking at a lot of dosh. Um, that's hence why probably I haven't got it up to now. Um, 100 plus in it, it's got you know, 120 quid. Um, probably more, I don't know. I don't know what it goes for these, but I'm guessing 120, 130. Very, very sought after. Always up against it in auctions, you know. Uh, been miss missed out on numerous occasions. Um, but like I say, I think he did. Oh no, he did. Shin which way around with it, Mike? Yeah, you know, he did. You know, being Double Dragon Two as a bundle, and then this one was the one that I got the other week off him last week. What it might camp? But this did a fucking brilliant deal on it. You know, cracking deal. I just wish I had something to sell him. You know, something that he ain't got <laughs> to repay the favour. It's not going to happen, is it? Um, and the last pick up. Um, you know, to show a bit similar to Scott Brand that it's not all Sega in here. I do try to pick. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm interested in absolutely everything. Um, I've I've regularly dipped a toy into most systems. Uh, not all systems, but a lot of systems. Um, but I always come back to you know Nintendo and Super Nintendo and I wanted a good example of this particular um, variation of the SNES and this was one that my mum and dad got me probably a bit too old to be getting them for Christmas it must have, I think it was the, the last the last, pre, the last Christmas I got a present but it was, I think it had just come out and I, you know, I, I moaned and moaned and moaned and blessed them. They got me it, and I always remember seeing it in the cupboard. And uh, it was this exact one. So this is the one that holds the nostalgia for me. Um, as you know, your cells condition varies wildly, doesn't it? Um, the the yellow discoloration. I wanted to try and avoid that if I could. So I knew we were going to have to pay a premium. Um, I looked at one at Donny, they had the same one, this guy was selling this one and the Mario, the Mario pack, he had one of each, uh, and, and frankly I wasn't happy paying the price he wanted in the condition. So this one popped up, um, it's the best one I've seen for a long long time uh, without paying absolutely banzai stupid cash. Um, this was a, a fair price, I didn't get a bargain, I'll let me rack my brain. I know I should have these prices, guys. I'm really sorry. I know everyone likes If you like me, you like to know what people's paid. I know. It's just laziness. Now, the box is... The box I'd give, you know, probably six, six and a half to seven anyway. All the, you know, flappage is still in, intact. Um, it's got edge, edge wear, but no major. There's no rips. No, not really. It's just just edgeware. Um, so well happy with the box. Um, similar with the 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 poly inner. It's got all paperwork, including the little setup booklet. Um, it's got the game. It's got all leads. But the the reason why I want it is it's got fucking zero zero discoloration. Um, and, and you tend to find now that a lot of them are just starting and I, I was quite specific when he um, when I was asking him about it I said look 
I need to, I really wanted one with no discoloration. Now I don't know what the story is with these, why some do. Some told me that you know some were manufactured using a slightly different type of plastics or some have been sat near sunlight and no sunlight sets it off. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of them that have been boxed away more are probably the better ones. But well happy, well happy with it. Um, that's it, it's got the game as well. Um, controllers in good nick as well, but absolutely spot on. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but it's it's grey. There's no yellowing at all anywhere on it. It's about as good as you're going to get. There's a slight, the ever so slight scuff along this cartridge insert here and also on the inject button, but it's, it's sod all. Um, it will come out, it's going to sit next to its stable mate, the Thuper Famicom, which I got off my fantastic mate Rob. Um, let's just get them as a comparison, Rob. I'm better and yours is even better, mate, what I got off you. I didn't much in it. Um, so, you know, they're going to sit together, which, you know, they should do, shouldn't they? Should sit next to each other on the shelf where they belong. Um, so, really chill. I mean, at one stage, we're going to sell that Famicom. So glad I didn't as well. So fucking glad I didn't sell that. I mean, what am I thinking? So, well happy to have this. Um, I like I say, the control, I felt the control, a couple of marks on it. Um, sod all. Um, I'm not, like I say, I'm not going to have it boxed up. I'm not going to have it sat in a box. It's going to be on that shelf. Um, I have the blinds closed through the day, so it's not going to have, you know, sunshine beating onto it. So, it's going to come out. Needs to be dis needs to be out on this sort of out, not on, not on sort of in a box, but it not seen. So well happy with that. So that guys and gals is the end of the, the sort of gaming related tickets. Now we're going on to a big big love of mine. Now this predates fucking gaming for me, massively predates uh, predates gaming. So. It's just another look, and so, years and years ago, uh, when I first started collecting, I were into, the three things that I collected were Transformers, OG, sort of, you know, OG Transformers, um, Vintage Star Wars, and Action Force. We're talking about probably early 90s is when I started, it's about 92, 93, that's when I was massively into it. Now, I was single at the time, and space wasn't an issue, and I had a shit ton of it. And like an absolute idiot, like I said to various people, I can kick myself up and down the road every single day when I think about what I got rid of for next to nothing, especially on the Star Wars stuff. You name it, I had it. Not boxed, not everything were boxed, I had a lot of box stuff, but I had a fucking example of most Star Wars. It was absolutely everywhere. I admit now, to, to get back into it now is just completely out of my um, price range. So I, I won't even begin to start, but what I have got into, what I want to get back into, started, is, is Action Force. That is, I have... It was so much love for it. Um, I can't tell you how enthusiastic I'm. I probably can see it. It's it, it's it's a big deal for me. Um, a game like a lot of these eighties uh, toys, you're talking decent money now for in good condition. Um, certainly the figures carded, you can pay big big money. Um, similar with the the you know the vehicles. Don't know if you know about Action Force. I can. I'll. I'll. I'll give you very, very basic um, background details. But I've got five figures here to show you. I'll just make sure that this camera's still running. Yeah, it's still running. I'm still learning it, guys. <laughs> five figures here to show you. Now these are the. What shall we call them? The. When it first moved over, when it started as Action Man branded, okay, so the Action Man that you know from the 70s rolled over into the 80s, they brought this 
this new toy range out, Action Force. Started as Battle Action Force actually in the comics. Um, but they started they released this this range of figures. Okay. First started, the very first one was the original ten figures. And then it branched out. So you had you know you all started and every year there'd be new new figures released. And how it goes on, you know. Um but these are this five year um are the ones that from the period that I really, really remember well. These are the ones that in my, the shop up the road, Tommy Tommy's what were it called? Tommy's this, they had about three different shops, but one of them um had the toys in and they had just loads of stuff boxed, action force, fucking loads of it. If all you know, if, if only I could go back. If only I could go back. Um so it's always been dear to me out as Action Force and like I say I had loads of back in early 90s, early to mid 90s I had loads and I, I I got rid of it all, I just, I don't know, you just, you just fucking lost the plot I guess, didn't it? you know, you just, you just lose interest for whatever reason, just like fucking, it's just a case of clearing it out regardless of value, shouldn't have done, shouldn't have done, you don't realise just how much stuff can go up further down the line but Hey ho, that's life, you live and learn. So, we'll just pick them at random. So this one here, Z Force in Infantryman. So this one, look at these acrylic cases that this guy sold them in. Are they just the fucking best thing ever? They're just the fucking bees knees then. Um, it was selling loads of these, I'm trying to find out where he sourced them from because I, w I want all my carded figures to go in these. They're so, so cool a display to display in Arthur. You know, they're solid. They just, you know, they just set it off just right, don't they? Nice little slide in. They're just perfect size for Action Force. So this carded, unpunched. Um, now, this, this, this bubble. The main sort of bubble may appear yellowed. Now, it hadn't been yellowed by sunlight. This is the, there's loads of different little uh, quirks with Action Force. So this is basically a yellow bubble that you used. Um, that said, it, the the figure itself has not been yellowed whatsoever. So they did use this yellowish style bubble. This is a. Um, a purely English variation. There's loads of different European variations, which affects the price wildly. You can have rare French only, rare German only, rare English only. Not a particularly rare figure. In fact, he's a very probably one of the most commonest figures you can get. This is not the original set. Okay, this is probably Wave Two. Hence, why you've now got on. You've got enemy. SAS, Z Force, Q Force, and Space Force. They were the, the group, so you had the five. Enemy predates Cobra. Okay, so if you know your action force, you know Cobra. It was known as Enemy back then, okay, with stuff like Red Shadow. Everything was red, it had that sort of, that was a thing going on. Um, <coughs> super cool, like I say, completely mint condition. Um, got this for a good price, in my eyes, 20 quid ish, including this fantastic acrylic uh, display case. Like I said, they've all come with them. Um, another, probably equally common one, really, the Z Force Captain, maybe slightly rarer, but not much. Again, with the yellow bubble, um, no crush, sort of crushing at all to it again. Completely English variation again, unpunched um, from the same wave. What I think is wave two. Um, like I say, pretty common, common character, common sort of timer. Sorry guys, camera for some reason must be on a like a timer, and it's it's just it just cuts out and you have to restart. I'll have to have a look at that. I'll, I'll get back to it. I'm, I'm just hoping you can piece these bit, piece all these segments together. Um, but yeah, like I say, around the same price, 20 25 quid. Well happy to get it. Completely mint condition. Um, as good as you're going to get. And like you say, like, I'm sure you'll agree, totally fucking awesome in that acrylic case. Um, 
a rarer one here. Now, I, I, I've actually had this at this uh, particular uh, figure years ago, and it's the original Frogman. So this orange variation, uh, this is a French one, incidentally. Um, predates the black SAS one. Okay, so this was the first, the first variation. If you look on the back, you've got the original. Uh, 12 figures, sorry it's 12 figures not 10 like I said earlier, so you've got the original 12 and Frogman is one of them and you've just got the three vehicles down there <coughs> um, this mail away character here, a lot of people mistake it for being Black Major, it's not It's it were a mail away only known as Commander or something um, I think I think they came in just like a baggy and so the, what happened was you collected these five little medals um, that you'd get off the packs and then it was like a mail away, I don't know how much it was um, but yeah quite hard to get hold of this guy um, but yeah so this orange frogman um, bit of crushed to the top of the bubble there not you know I think they've repaired it with a tiny bit of sellotape to be honest but really cool really happy to get this this can this varies wildly in price. You're looking at around between 30, 40, sometimes up to 50 quid in really, really good condition. Um, so well happy to get that. Um, space here. So we've moved on to like wave two again, if you like. So this is when it moved on to the the SAS Frogman now. Um, Again, in fantastic condition, it really is. Um, I've had loads of it. It's a slight bit of crushing. I could probably squeeze that out if I wanted to, but I probably I will. better not try. There's a bit of crushing to it, but like I said, you know, none of them are, they're not resales, these by the way, guys. Um, you can quite you can quite easily spot a resale um, in most, um, you know, most times anyway. Um, if you look at on the edging, where the bubble ends, um, you can see the where the new glue starts to react with the top level of the the printing on the original cardboard backing. Um, it doesn't like it. Okay, so modern glues that you reseal or people try to reseal don't react well. <coughs> excuse me, with the original cardboard. So if you look, that's what I've always found around this outer edge you'll see on this one where it's more or less absolutely clear on a reseal you'll see slight starts going opaque style um, due to the slight reaction with the top the very top part of the uh, the cardboard backing itself um, don't get me wrong there's some that are very hard to spot but if you look at them closely in detail you can just about spot it. I mean most sellers that I've you know that I come across now with stuff like this they, they admit if it's a resale because you know any, a proper collector will be able to spot it anyway better off just being honest admittedly it does affect the price quite a lot but that's what it is um, a lot of these you see these really old early 80s stuff I mean we're talking probably 1983 I think with this one um, I'm just looking there actually with this one being in English for that commander figure that mail away you collected five of them little medals and it was 35p that you sent as well to cover postage Fucking hell. if only we could go back um, yeah, a lot like I say, a lot of these really old carded figures. You've got to remember that unless they've been stored away, unplayed with, un, you know, not unplayed with, obviously going to be unplayed with the carded, but you know, left in a box, out of sunlight, out of heat, out of cold. A lot of that glue, if they haven't, a lot of the glue starts to break down. You're talking thirty, getting on for forty years. Um, of that glue and it'll you know a lot of the time it comes away it'll just come away from the cardboard um, so there's not much you can do um, and the last one for now 
We've got a lot of these coming yet. I, I'm absolutely I'm well into it now. Uh, SAS Squad Leader. Um, again, fantastic condition. Slight crunching. Crushing to the bottom edge of the card. Um, but apart from that, in my eyes, mint. In my eyes, mint. Um, I love when you read these uh, little profiles. Codename Eagle, son of hereditary Earl Eagle, was educated at Eton, Cambridge and Sanders, of course he was, obviously, where he won the Sword of Honour after a brilliant army career and transfer, transferred to Action Force in search of more action. So he always got like sec uh, primary and secondary speciality, so his primary military speciality was guerrilla warfare and secondary military speciality commando assault. Well, it's fucking definitely if you're in SAS you need that don't you? Um, so yeah, I don't know what you think guys. I'm sorry if it's not in your bag. For me, it's a, it's massive. I love it. Um, gaming will run in tandem. I haven't a first clue where these are going to go. I'm under pressure from the missus not to collect toys. Um, so I don't know, but they need to be on display somewhere, somehow. I'm going to have to work it out, what can I tell you? Where there's a will, there's a way. We'll get round it. Um, one last thing to show you before I forget, whatever it is, buried under all this fucking shit. From RGD, um, retro gaming cables. I got this pack a punch cable, just came yesterday. What uh, our mate, good friend Dylan Craven, recommended to get. So, what this will do. It is PAL NTSC compatible with the SNES. I don't know if it means, does it mean Super Nintendo, will it work on the Famicom Dylan as well? I'm hoping it will. Or does it just mean Super Nintendo, uh, the American one? But it also works on the PAL GameCube, which I haven't got. Might get around to getting one, I don't know, eventually. Um, but apparently, if you don't know retro gaming cables, the uh, one of the the sort of the best places to go for these uh, RGB SCART connections. Um, they're not the cheapest, but by all accounts and reading, you certainly do get what you pay for. So I right, for about thirty quid, this might be thirty five with postage, but I knew I'd use it, so I had to get it. Um, so thanks for the recommendation Dylan, I'm sure it'd be absolutely fantastic mate. Uh, and that is it guys, um, I don't know how long it's been in total, so my camera's spikes done me out twice over time, so I think it'd be around three quarters of an hour-ish, something like that. I'll try and piece it together best I can. I'm hoping that this will work on my uh, editing. God, could be in for a right fucking palaver. I'll do my best. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? It's been great having you as an audience again, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've tried to vary it up a little bit. I'll try to check back a little bit more regular, if I can. I've changed jobs yet again, so I'm on another shift pattern, but blah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear about all that shit. Um, but I'll be back just as soon as I can with anything that I can. All right. Uh, hope you're enjoying your weekend guys and uh, enjoy what's rest, uh, left of it and I'll uh, I'll see you soon okay long live the retro